it's time for the warzone 100 tips and tricks video i'm getting into guide videos again we're starting up with the banger you guys know this is gonna go fast all the tips are in the comments below with timestamps. hope you guys enjoy the video let's roll it as a solo in where there's no helis you can climb all the way to the top of a ray what you do is you climb up these and you go back you don't want to be crouched make sure you're uncrouched and then you go again again make sure you're not crouched and then you just continue on if you are crouched you'll fail and fall down a good way to get people off of rooftops is using a fake airstrike while you're inside the building waiting for them to come right into your trap a method for pc players to fast buy on shops is to instantly when you pop it hold your mouse over what you want press spacebar then w and then spacebar again that takes you from clicking the item you want with the spacebar w to go up to yes and then spacebar to say yes please Using the precision airstrike will almost always come from the direction you're pointing to the direction you're heading, such as these planes here. Sometimes I've noticed they don't, but most of the times they will, and that way you can do kills like that. A truck will obliterate a quad with taking minimum damage. If not going at full speed, you can jump out of your truck and jump into the bay right away to beam enemies, and they will not expect it. A good strat to avoid getting smashed up is to jump into your own vehicle real quick and then out and beam the enemy. You can glide all the way from the tallest tower at summit all the way to the atc tower down an airport by going sideways mark it look down and then just have that arrow kind of like towards where you hit it's not that hard to do get the hang of it after like one try when you're pushing enemy players in a vehicle without a trophy system expect the c4 it is such a good tool to use but also when you're on the other side always expect that there's a c4 coming your way if you mark a vehicle and someone gets in it the mark will turn into a danger alert and you'll know that it's been taken from you. When you use your plate box, when you're playing as a team, it's really important that you drop your already current plates. That way, if you're stuck in a building, you have even more plates to pick up after you go through the ones you just picked up from the box. Sometimes you're forced, but also when you're not, don't be afraid to make a push outside the zone if you have a gas mask. It doesn't matter when it is in the game, the gas mask lasts the same amount of time. So pop around it, use your utility. Unless you're Stone Mountain 64, turn off the auto deploy feature. That way you pull your parachute yourself. Now be cautious, don't splat. But you can steal helis like this or you can get to the ground loot before everyone else and it's just a must have setting. The first free loadout always comes when there's exactly 14 and a half a second left on the first zone closing in. An not really used a lot strategy is to fly around downtown with a heli and just pick up money. If you had a rough start, see if you can get the park heli or something and just fly around rooftops because there's often a bad stack amount of cash. Jumping out of your truck to beam enemies is a good play and very often an unexpected play that gets you a freebie. Oh if there's more enemies in your vicinity when the free care packages come down they'll all land in the same area so that means there's going to be a party to reach the max distance possible in a parachute you want to pull your parachute right when your gun holsters like this pop it cut it instantly and go again over and over using your pistol whip in the beginning is a very easy way to get a kill if you're up close to enemies rather than having to hit bullets you just hit them one or twice and that's it you can do emotes while you're knocked in, in case you want to communicate to the enemy. You cannot park any type of vehicle on the train. I have a look at this. Ow. <laughs> but yeah, any vehicle that touches the train will explode and die. A horrible death. Don't do it. To open a door without making much noise, you hold ADS and press your open door key. You can use your heli to smash into other people's heli or into players themselves to get an easy kill. Even as a solo player, you can quickly swap seat in the heli and get a rocket off or a spray, snip, whatever, and go on with your day. If all your team members have not used the loadout yet and you've already used it, died, come back from the gulag, you can actually grab another loadout from the same crate again. You can pick up a C4 you've already placed by just going over to it and pressing F on it again, or whatever controller button it is. Play it smart. If you've just picked one angle, they're going to expect you to come from that again. So quickly rotate, do some else, and surprise them. If you spam spacebar as you accidentally fall down the firehouse, you can pop your parachute. Don't be like me. Zone 1 is really fast if the corner of the map is the zone spot. Use a vehicle because you cannot outrun it. 
you can only have one field upgrade active at a time. So if you play something else here, the previous one will be deleted, even if it's an ammo case or an armor box. Any form of grenade launcher will not explode. If you shoot it close to you, it has to go a certain distance in order to go kaboom. Changing a minimap to be a square instead of a circle gives you a broader view of what's going on around you at all times. If you mark a most wanted, you can track them through walls and everything, and you can also just go down there and grab their truck and run them over. Marking your mission or vehicle you're going for right off the bat is a good way to practice your way to get down there as quick as possible. Because you always have the meter counter and it's just, mm, mm, do it. The gas mask gives you a total of 11 seconds to be outside the play zone before you start taking damage. If you're taking shots while in the heli, I personally prefer to fly low instead of high making it more difficult for enemies to shoot you as you're getting away. Now most important in solos, always finish your enemies right off the bat. Because you know it's a solo, and if he's knocked, that means he has to self rise Beam him. Getting a kill while having dead silence on will renew and reset the timer so you have a full length of dead silence again. Watch out for the corners on the train. When it does take those little spicy corners, you can get caught in between and get squished. If you do prefer the classic Call of Duty hit marker sounds, there's an option for them in the audio section that's called hit marker sound effects. There's two different ways to get on top of a ray. The one is the zip line at one end, and in the other end, you have two different ladders you need to crawl up in. People with a ghost perk that are close to you will not show up on your UAV or your heartbeat sensor. If you're looking to make a sneaky play, bushes are not very often used, but are actually really, really good at hiding spots to backstab people. Watch where the heck you're going in the Mahalis, man. One little light pull or something will blow you up. Look at this. Pow. That's all it takes. Be careful out there. Some places you can parachute outside the map, such as here, without getting killed. You can also fly across with a heli. The timer will show up when you're low enough, but do not fear. Cross around it. You'll be fine. The dead silence perk is very strong and very good to make those difficult pushes that people don't expect. My preferred two spot in the gulag is always go over here with the tank. If he doesn't show up here, I'll hold the top like this and it works every time. Almost. People can easily be fooled by the decoys as they also jump around while they're making sound to make it look like an enemy moving while shooting. Try to use the DLSS feature from NVIDIA and see if you like how the game looks after because it can get you a huge FPS boost. A heli that's very often overlooked is the park one. Just people don't seem to go for it a lot. So snag it up if it's there. It might be an easy heli to get if you want it. Don't give away your position in the gulag. Even in the very last second, if you turn, people will know you're going that way. Now, some people do it to bamboozle, but most people do it because they turn too soon. You can parachute from a heli or just from a regular parachute or right up into these tall towers located all around Verdansk. If you have a favorite loadout, you can set it as your favorite by right clicking and that way your character will hold those guns and show them off to your butts in the lobby. Mounting your gun is the tool you must use. It absolutely removes recoil and makes it an easy task to beam anything out there. Fastest way to level modern warfare guns in my opinion is doing the shoot house list or the shipment list if it's there. Hardcore mode and just fly around, use your gun, level it up. XP token if you have it, just go ham. You cannot pull your parachute if you're gliding down a wall with your face towards it. You have to face away from the wall in order to pull it. Whether a gun is epic, uncommon, or legendary is only the amount of attachments it carries. It doesn't deal more damage, it's just the attachment counter. A legendary will always have all the attachments on it. Stuff like motion blur and depth of field should be turned off. There's full guides out there on YouTube showing you exactly what each setting does. Take an hour or something, watch some videos, and just to fine tune everything to get that perfect experience out of the game for you. If you're using a pistol loadout or just have a pistol from ground loot, you can use it as you're climbing ladders. However, if you are using a Kimbo, they'll only allow you to use one of them. If you're playing with a team, a good way to use Marcus is to quickly pop them down when there's something to notice and then remove them after a couple of seconds so they're not in the way for your team to look there. Try to always use your heartbeat sensor before hopping up at zip line, just in case. You never know. Same for the indoor ones. The resupplies can only be used once. The shop locations are always the same spots, but are not guaranteed to be there every single game. Gliding sideways allow you to travel faster than when you just go straight forward. You can look down to easily look at the minimap at the same time to make sure you're heading the right direction you want to go.
personally in solos i would suggest you always run high alert if you're an aggressive player if you're a little bit more passive i would still go with the ghost for those that don't know high alert lights up the screen whenever someone's aiming at you and it's just a really good perk to have good idea is to have someone in your squad to roll in with it that way you'll know when someone's about to beam your team Doing the quick buy mission gives you money, but also allows you a huge discount, including a free self revive or free team rest. Slide canceling makes you harder to hit and makes you travel a little bit faster. It's a good technique to outrun the zone and avoid getting hit. You simply slide and then you ADS right, a quick little ADS to get right back up. If you do use Tuckle Crouch, I believe you can travel faster than when you hold a crouch. Using a suppressor or a flash guard from Cold War guns will hide you on the minimap when you shoot your weapon. If you're playing as a squad, the loadout will always drop near the leader of the team. If you do happen to get knocked in a zip line, it will continue to glide you all the way up. And if it doesn't finish you or she, you can crawl to safety and rest yourself or get a rest from a teammate. You can only have one ping of the same active at a time, but by double clicking, you get the alert, aka danger ping up. It can also be useful for your team. There's a cheeky little hiding spot on the tallest building. If you go to the edge and then you can drop down here, good way to avoid the enemy or hide for just a second. You can even lane prone out here if you need to. Check it out. If you didn't already know, you can go to train and do recon missions over and over and over again. They respawn after a little bit after you do it in the same card every time. That way you can see the entire late game if you want to. Doing a most wanted mission is a very easy and reliable way if you have a heli to bring your team back. You hop down, grab it and just fly around for a couple minutes and you have your whole team back. You can use F10 to mute everything in the game. That's for keyboard players. Using F9 allows you to mute all voice chat in the game it is actually possible to transport a vehicle but only if you're playing as a team because the one in the back needs to be accelerating the vehicle as you go kind of a meme thing but the more you know right using your sound to determine footsteps is a very important factor in warzone it allows you to hear people pushing across corners sometimes not only do scavenger missions give you good loot but they can also contain money so you can get money from boxes including the reward from finishing the mission I think some people don't know this one, and there's actually a quick way to get into a next game, it's just pressing play again instead of leaving the game. So if you don't want to have anything to do in the menu, just queue up right away. In my opinion, Cold War guns are best leveled in plunder, just drop in storage town, solo. Do not queue up with team members, because if the team gets wiped, you spawn at a completely random location on the map. Go in solo, just land over and over and try to frag out. Windows can be really hard to see through, so pop them if you know this guy in there and you already know where you're at, so you're not at a disadvantage. Every now and then with Call of Duty, it can be a good idea to restart your game. Something, I don't know if it's a memory leak or whatever, but it can increase your FPS if you had a long gaming session. With the rocks in the Gulag, you deal one damage each hit, but you can actually blow up a Claymore with it. At the end of the scavenger mission, there's always going to be a guaranteed satchel in the last box. If you're playing as a team, spare the loot, you got spare plates, you see one of your teammates missing a couple of plates, drop them in. Give them some ammo, give them whatever they need, because you need to win as a team. Grabbing a heli early on is a good way to slice some easy kills. Now, a lot of people do tend to go for the heli, so do not have auto deploy on. Just straight dip down and snag it and slice them up. This isn't really a tip, but try this build, man. ADS while you shoot and you will zoom, man. You will fly so fast around the map when you shoot with this thing. If your squad usually prefers all running ghosts, try to have one guy use high alert. You'll be surprised of how many teams you'll bust before they open up on you. Try it out. Stopping power is probably the most ridiculous thing in this game. It increases the damage you deal each shot and it's insanely overpowered. Always use it if you find it. The stun grenades are really good in Warzone. The effect lasts for such a long time that you can bully your enemy to death. You're struggling with your team always dying because they're split early game. Try to enforce your team to land exactly on the same spot. You'll be surprised of how many times you win the fight, even just with pistols. While throwing knives aren't one shot to the booty, they can still bounce on the wall and they can be reused if you want to. Always, if you have it, put a trophy system on your vehicle, whether it's a car or a freaking heli. Flop it in there. Avoid getting C4 or missile to the dust. Use them. The truck only has one seat. Remaining passengers will have to sit in the bay. Watch out for rolling vehicles. As soon as you get out of them, they turn not very friendly. Not as in when you're a team and you can just smash into your teammates. 
This makes it hostile, so be careful, don't get squished. If a vehicle has an enemy player in it, it will not show up, but it'll show up again once they get out. You can jump from a parachute directly into a heli if you cut it. However, you cannot jump directly into a ground vehicle. You will get squished. You can even do it as a solo if you want. All vehicles will only have skins on them if someone's been in them. They never reset. You can't change the skin. Whichever one got into it first is the skin it's going to have for the remaining of the game. You can get weapon XP by obviously killing people or doing contracts too. Doing any contract will allow you to get weapon XP too or just surviving, walking around. As long as you're alive, you gain weapon XP as you play. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this far. Enjoy your day. Peace.